In this video, we're going to introduce some JavaScript into our HTML page. This will make our page more interactive for the user. It might be more fun for the user if we made it so they had to click to reveal each of the favorites. So to start off, let's get rid of the title and let's add a button. And we can make the text of the button say reveal. And if we save and click refresh, now we don't have the title anymore, and we have a button that says reveal. Well, we still have the image, so let's hide that, and let's make it so it only shows this when they click reveal. If we go back to the text editor, let's go where it says image and say hidden, and then save it, refresh, now it's not showing the Ratatouille image anymore. If I click Reveal, nothing happens yet. The reason is because we haven't set up an on-click event for that. Uh, so let's add an on-click attribute, and let's say Reveal 5, because this is the fifth favorite that we're going to be revealing. And we have to have parentheses. And what it's really saying is there's a block of code titled Reveal 5 inside of the JavaScript for this web page. And when I click on the button, I want it to run that script. So we need to add that script. And we can do that really easily. We can add a scripts tag. Close the scripts tag. Then all of our JavaScript can fit in between these two tags, the open and close script tag. Um, so let's start out by creating that function we said exists, <laughs> and we call it reveal5, and open and closing curly brackets. And just to start things off, let's have it alert the user that the button was pressed, just so you can see what this does. So I have a script created for reveal5 that's going to run when they click the button. So the user clicks the button, it says button was pressed. Good. So we know the function works. Now we actually want it to show the image, of course, when we click the button. So let's get rid of that. And in order to show that image, right now it's hidden, we need to have a way to reference it. So we can give it an ID. And let's just call it IMG5, because it's the fifth image. And inside the script, I can say document.getElement by ID and type in image5, img5, and then say hidden equals false. Because remember when the page was first created, it says hidden here, but when they click the button, I'm going to say it's no longer hidden. Okay, so if I refresh the page, after saving it, now you'll see that it works. When I click Reveal, it runs that script and unhides the image. So you can go through and do that for all of the other images and make it more of an interactive page using JavaScript.